there is that part of ourselves that some people might label the superego, um, but it's not separate from us. It is that highest part of ourselves who wants us to come into full bloom when it comes to how powerful, how wonderful, and how expressed our being can be. Most of the time, we find ourselves mired down in materialism. We find ourselves more focused on getting what we want right now and not focused on what we want to get in the long term. The long term is always pushed back. It's always pushed uh, further and further back our entire lives until there is no further back and we're about to die. We have to come to terms with the fact that if we put something off, it's going to not turn out great for us. We're going to keep on putting it off. What do I mean by what we're putting off? So maybe character development. Um, we're trying to work towards being more decisive. We're trying to work towards being more patient, more loving, more kind, uh, more frugal. No matter what it is, what we are working towards, no matter what you are trying to do, needs to be handled now. Our guardian angel or daemon, all they can do is suggest. They can't control us. Their role is to advise us and how we walk forward and how we reach our goals. They don't decide what our goals are, but how we reach them, that's what they can aid us in. Keep on listening to them. Don't push them aside. There's a part of yourself within yourself that is telling you exactly how to achieve what you're trying to achieve, but it require, it does require the effort and work. There's no easy way to getting to our true goals, what we, what we want or what we need. And just like the intellect, the guardian angel or daemon, they can be put to work. The intellect is a part of ourselves which can reason out, figure out exactly what to do. That can be put to work for um, what you're trying to accomplish. And really the intellect is usually aligned with the our guardian angel or our guardian daemon, something like that. Uh, no matter how, you know, what kind of term you have for it, um, the intellect is a very big part of that being that guides us. It's like, okay, well, you want to do this. This is how you do it. Here's the consequences. Here's what will happen if you don't. Here's what will happen if you do. Things like that. And since it's since our guardian angel or daemon is so so, um, so paired with the intellect, um, you can kind of think of them as a very massive thing. Like it's very massive in the sense that it's a very big part of our psyche, but it's also very light at the same time. It doesn't drag us down. The intellect doesn't drag us down in consciousness. It doesn't try to um, tie us to material or material desire, but it does allow us to try to get or aid us in getting what we truly want or maybe even what we want it, the intellect can be enslaved by the ego if that so happens but uh so it is it is a very big part of our mind but it is also very light because it doesn't drag us down that's usually why <laughs> um in hinduism uh ganesha is usually seen riding a rat and he's a very big elephant um uh, god um, he represents wisdom. He also is very tied to the intellect and uh, getting over obstacles. He's very big, but he rides a rat. That's how light he is. And that's what the intellect is. And that's kind of what the guardian angel and or, and, or da daemon is, depending on how you want to understand this being that I'm talking about. We all have different names for various things. But your guardian angel or your guardian daemon um, this is a part of yourself that you cannot separate. We imagine that the idea of a guardian angel or a guardian daemon is separate from us. Like it's something looking after us. It's something looking down on us or looking up to us. But it's separate. But that's not actually the case. It's not separate. Our entire spiritual world is within. And when it comes to that, um, these beings are no different. We just have to try to understand how we can heed their advice work towards what we truly want, well, decide what we want, what we truly want, then work towards it, and then allow our guardian angels and da daemons, whatever you want to call them, um, 
to help us towards that goal. Because the goal is not decided for you. It's something that you have to decide for yourself. But there's a lot of parts of us who are willing to help us if we just decide what we truly want, who we are as a person, and where we're going. That's our decision to make. And all the other parts of ourselves that are going to aid us, they're just waiting for us to make a choice. And they're right there ready to help us. At any rate, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was interesting. And all of you, have a wonderful day.